Have you ever wondered if you're supposed to be with someone, if the universe is conspiring to bring the two of you together? Here are six things that will happen when the universe wants you to be with someone. Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high like a big, beautiful eagle. And we're flying, of course, in the direction of your dreams and goals. I want to remind you, we are here more often than uh, we ever thought we would be, but we're here all the time, at least five days a week, sometimes six, sometimes seven, sometimes eight days a week but we're here for you. So be sure and subscribe and click that bell icon. Want to remind you to claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and alchemy life coaching. Find out exactly what a mentoring program can do for your life. Okay. We're talking about the law of attraction. We're talking about the universe or spirit energy or God. And how do you know that source energy that the universe wants the two of you to be together. What are the signs? What are the things that will happen that will kind of give it away and say, Hey, this is more than just about me or more than just about my partner. This is about kind of a divine inspiration taking place here. So high flyers. The first thing that will happen is that you will notice that the two of you share a similar journey. Now it doesn't mean that if one of you works in a doctor's office, that both of you will work in a doctor's office. No, it doesn't mean that at all. It means that you have kind it's hard to define. It's kind of a spiritual undertone. It's a destination that you both desire, say financial independence. You both desire abundance in your life and prosperity. You both desire to give. You both desire to be proactive. You both like outdoor activities. You both like mountain climbing. You both like bicycling. You know, in other words, you both have a lot of similar interests, but more important than that, it's as if the two of you share a similar journey. The next thing that will happen is you will notice that the two of you just have a great interest in each other. And it's more than just a physical attraction. As a matter of fact, I've had people that are obvious twin flames. And they told me when they first met, there was no physical attraction whatsoever, that that physical attraction grew over time. It grew because there was a spiritual counterpart. There was an emotional counterpart. There was an intellectual counterpart and that helped boost up the physical attraction as well. And that's, that's what I'm talking about is that mentally you just like talking to this person that emotionally you feel you can trust this person and you feel like you can share who you are and what your journey is about, what your life is about, what your fears are, what your goals are, what your dreams are. And they feel the same about you. So there's emotional, there's mental, there's a spiritual connection. It doesn't mean you both go to the same church. You may not even be of the same religion, but you have this similar spiritual connection. And of course, at some point, there's this physical connection. And as I said, the physical connection oftentimes is the least important because it will develop in time. It will develop the more the two of you spend time together and grow in your journey. So we're talking about six things that will happen when the universe really, and, and I, I want to clarify this. The universe doesn't want for anything. Okay. Want indicates lack. So I didn't really know what other word to use there that would keep it simple, but really the universe doesn't want for anything, but the universe is conspiring to bring the two of you closer together in a relationship. This is important. Let me see if I can phrase this right. The relationship that you're in 
doesn't demand that you give up your spiritual journey, your path, your dreams, your goals, your destination. And you don't demand that of your friend or your new partner. Okay. So you just have this wonderful connection where you support each other and you love each other on your own journey. So number four high flyers is that you have noticed and you will notice the longer you are together that your partner is attracted to your strengths. That's what, that's what really turns them on is your confidence, your strength, your magnetism, but they will also stand by you during your times of weakness, during your times of sorrow, during your times of pain. I have to tell you, and I, I just, I'm giving you my opinion. It's my, my belief. It, it means nothing more than that. But if you have a partner that is only with you when things are good, but abandons you when things are bad, you may be lucky because you don't want a partner like that. You want a partner that is with you during all the, cause life is, life is not just about good times. It can be. Okay. It depends on your belief system. So even bad times can be good times. If you know what I mean, if you know that you can, you can reframe it in your mind, you can look for the benefit in it, but during times of weakness, I have one lady, she said, we've been together. I think it was nine years, nine years. And when my father died, this guy completely abandoned me. He, he didn't call me. He didn't comfort me. He didn't come by and visit me. He didn't offer to take me out. And after a year had passed, then he started showing her a little attention again. But during that period of time, he just kind of backed off because he didn't want to feel her pain. When you find somebody that is willing to accept what you're going through and work with you on it, that's the universe. Well, high flyers, the fifth thing is obvious, but at some point you really can't imagine them not being in your life. You can't imagine not getting that morning phone call or you know, in my own personal journey, I wake up every morning and there's a cup of coffee waiting for me filled with collagen. <laughs> but anyway, I love collagen. That's a different story. So, but there's a cup of coffee waiting for me. I can't imagine not having that. And when you reach that point where you just can't imagine that person not being a part of your life, that's a pretty strong indication that the universe desires the two of you to be together. Well, high flyers, we've already talked about this indirectly, but number six is that you share more than Eros. Eros is uh, erotic love. It's passion. And I believe it's absolutely necessary. I believe it's important, but there's also philia, which is friendship a deep connection on a friend level. And then there's agape, a spiritual connection, a higher, an unconditional connection, universal, unconditional love. I love you in spite of what you're doing. I will always love you. I may not condone it. I may not like it. I may not even accept it, but I'll still love you. So when you feel, when you can sit down and say, I honestly feel all three types of love. I believe that's the universe calling the two of you together. Okay. Here's some additional videos, some good ones to help you on your journey.